In this video, we're going to take a look at taking attendance or recording attendance data. So to do that, we're first going to access the Apps menu. Click once on Apps, and within the Apps menu, you'll have Take Attendance, Meet, and Dropbox. Let's click Take Attendance. And from here, we'll be able to record the attendance. Now, in this case, I have one student. So if you had all of your students, or a lot of them, they would be listed here in the large grid view. For this example, it's just a little easier to show you with one student. So within the attendance tool, we have several options. Uh, so one of those things that you'll look at is there's obviously a temporal or time-based option. And that is the weeks in which we take attendance. So I'm going to click on this drop-down menu. And you'll notice that week one has passed, but we're now into week two, and we have week three as well. So I'm able to choose the week for which I'm going to record attendance. In addition to that, you have this view that we're in right now, which is called session view, but we also have this full view, which will show us uh, what the attendance has been recorded already. So we'll be able to see what that looks like. So if we had a, a course that was very long and we wanted to see back, you know, a few weeks, this would be the easiest way to see it is we'd see all of those weeks. So you'll notice week one or week two and week three are, um, are there. We'd be able to see all of that. In addition, let me click back on session view. I can also print the roster from here so I can see the attendance uh, from that. I will be saving every time I make a change here. That's very important. You must save, and we'll walk through that process here in a minute. And finally, you can view the attendance policy. Now, I'm going to open this so you can see it, but keep in mind the attendance policy for each organization or institution is going to be a little bit different. So what you see here may not be what you see in your instance of Blue Quill, because every organization has a slightly different policy. I'm going to click close on that. Uh, and you'll also notice there's other places that a policy will be listed. So we'll look at those in just a minute. So now let's get down to the area that has the actual attendance itself. We have the student's name. If I click on the student name, there's additional information that you're going to see. The full name of the student, their ID number, their username, their email address. If they have an advisor and that advisor has been integrated into the system, you'll see that, as well as the advisor email. Again, some of this information is very dependent upon the organization. This ID may be the ID that's used in the student information system, and that might be very important to your organization. So keep in mind that even though you can get to this information, it's going to look a little bit different to everyone. I'm going to close that. Next, we have the area where you actually take the attendance. So we have three different states in which a student can be marked. One of those states is present. Did they meet the attendance requirement? And again, that's dependent upon you. Did they not meet the attendance requirement, in which case they're absent? Or are there special circumstances? So let's look at each of those. In this drop down, if everyone was present, I can simply click select all and select everybody and then mark them all as present. That might be the quickest, especially if everyone attended. Same thing with absent. For some reason, if no one shows up, you can mark them all as absent at the same time. Or if there were special circumstances, you can mark all students as having those special circumstances. We can also view policy for each of these. So uh, just like the attendance policy we have here, which is all inclusive, this is the attendance policy for present. So I'll click on that and you'll see what that means. Same thing for absent and same thing for special. So again, this is a good guide in understanding what that means. We also have this comments area, and comments can be used if you want to talk to the student about their attendance. Maybe they were just great at what they did when they came to class that day. Maybe they really, you know, did a good job. It's good to put a comment in there so you can, you can tell them that so they can know that they did a great job. In addition to that, you can also use the special. And when you use special, uh, comments are required because special is kind of a, a, a special thing to do. So if I mark a student present, it just puts a, a bullet there inside the uh, radio button. If I mark them absent, it does the same thing. It places that there. But if I mark the student special and I get that comment required, you must add a comment. So you might be wondering, well, what would I ever use special for? 
special before again special circumstances. Let's say class is canceled. If class is canceled, students did not attend and neither were they absent. So special allows you to mark that and that way you'll be able to uh, not have it count against the student or toward their total attendance. So it kind of takes it out of that listing of what that means. So once those are set, then you'll see that information set here after you save. Now, FN grades and no-show. So what does that actually mean? FN grades and no-show are a little bit different than the rest of these. An FN grade is something that means that it is failure for non-attendance and failure as in failing the entire course for not attending. So here's the scenario. So let's say a student has been attending throughout the course. Let's say it's 10 weeks and they've been attending, but all of a sudden toward the end of the course, they stop attending and you've marked them absent for several times. Once you mark them absent to the point where they reach a threshold, that means that they really are not going to pass the class. You can mark that student as FN and we'll do that as an example. And that means that the student has failed the course because they didn't attend. Now, no show is a little bit different. No show means that the student never showed up. So that might be in the first few weeks of the course. So really the big difference is FN is for when the course has been running and they did attend and no show is for when they have never attended and they'll also be marked um, as no show. So let's do a couple of examples. So as I said, we're in a couple of weeks here. I'm going to actually take this out. There we go. So they thought mark that student present. So to mark students present, absent, and special, we're going to do this for week two. We're going to mark this student present. So I already have a bullet there and I don't need to have a comment. So that student has, has said that they have attended and you observe them to have attended. So now I'm going to click save. Attendance has been saved and the student has been marked as having attended. So next, we want to mark the student as absent. So I'm going to click on the down here and go to week three. And this time I'm going to mark the student as absent. So I'm gonna place a bullet here for absent and then I'm going to click save. And attendant has been saved and now the student has been marked as absent and the student has received a notification. So now I'm going to click close. So at this point, the student, technically speaking, has, because they've gotten one out of one absences, they're now eligible to be assigned this FN grade. Now, if I leave the attendance tool and I go to my grade grid, it doesn't, has not changed the student's status in the course yet. So there is no status change. Nothing has actually happened. Um, and this is early on in the course for me. Uh, but because it was in the week three instead of week one or two, that's why it's an FN and not a no-show. Let's go back to the apps again and go back to take attendance. So it hasn't changed anything about the student yet. Once I mark the student as FN or failure for non-attendance and I save that, it has been saved, they've been marked absent, they've gotten a notification, FN has changed now their, their status as a student. So when I close this, this student is now, basically I can't do anything with them anymore because they've been locked out. So when I go back then to the grade grid, I can finish out things within the grade grid, but that student will no longer be able to be counted. And then there is, basically they're locked out of the course at this point because they've not attended. I go to the roster, I should be able to see then that they've had their absences here as well. So that gives you a good idea of how attendance works. Again, it's going to be a little different depending on your organization. There may be slightly different wording, but the concepts will stay the same. So hopefully that makes some sense um, and you'll be able to utilize uh, the attendance tool.